Some students at Roberts Wesleyan College are working on a food recovery program to try to reduce the amount of food that's wasted on campus. Let's check back in once again with our news reporter Wendy Mills, who's there at the campus, to talk a little bit more about what this effort is. Good morning again, Wen. Hi, good morning, Christina. We are in the dining hall here at Roberts Wesleyan College where they provide some 7,000 meals uh, each and every week. But of course, uh, not everything makes it to the product, let's say the production line, the food line, but they are finding ways to take the unused food. Again, this is food that never gets put out before the kids and finding a way to feed others. Colleen Denny, again, this is a student driven mm -hmm. um, initiative food recovery network yes. and you're working together here with the, the team from Dining Services to fight food waste mm -hmm. and feed others. Tell us about it. Yeah, so they package up the food, they freeze it for a couple days, we weigh it, record it, and bring it to Asbury Dining and Caring Center downtown where it goes to the humbly, hungry and homeless. I love that and I, now I'm, I'm looking at this food. Is this, is this then from last night? Yeah, like what are we looking at? Dinner, yep. Okay. So again, this is food that never was put out. We call it kind of overproduction. Right. As I said, it's got to be challenging for the staff to figure out how many of you are going to eat, <laughs> what yeah. meal, when. Yeah, they don't want to take the food that's been on the line in case it's been, you know, anything's happened to us. The food right. that they have still in the kitchen, okay. we're allowed to take that through the Good Samaritan Law. So otherwise it would just go to landfill. But as a charity donation, we're allowed to take it following our own food safety procedures and taking it to those who need it. Right, because you freeze it and then deliver it. Mm -hmm, and we say right. it has been making a difference because we always talk about data driven. You're yes. keeping track. Tell mm -hmm. us how it's so made an impact. Every time we do a recovery, I write down how many pounds of what kind of food and send it to our national network. And so far, since we started two years ago, we've recovered almost 3,000 pounds of food. Fantastic. And I bet because it's a bit of a learning curve, right? Mm -hmm. Obviously, the goal is not to have food waste. Maybe yeah. as far as meal planning is even getting better. Yeah, it goes hand in hand because we want to do the humanitarian thing to donate, but we also want to do the sustainable thing to cut down on overproduction. So we're trying to do both, um, have as little overproduction as we can, but still making use of that. So yeah, you guys hopefully. have this down. I gotta say, <laughs> you know what you're doing. I love this, and they are working hard. And um, how many how many students are in the ecology club here? Um, it varies week to week. We usually have to have a team of five for each recovery, but we have about. 20 or 30 students who've been involved throughout the years. All right, well, it is good work that you're doing, and we hope that maybe this will inspire others. I know you shadowed RIT in the program that they do there and adapted it to your size yeah. school and hooking up with Asbury. So, wonderful program, certainly inspiring to cut down on food waste. Christina? All right, we can all get inspired from their efforts, right, Wendy? All right, Wendy Mills reporting there for us from Roberts <laughs> Wesleyan this morning. Wen, thank you.